Governor Yahya Bello of Kogi State has vowed to bring the perpetrators behind their attacks on communities in Deakin and local government area of the state to justice. The governor gave the assurance when he led heads of security agencies in the state for an on-spot assessment of the community. The governor was represented by his deputy, Edward Onodger, who described the attack as barbaric, though not very frequent in Kogi State. Though not very frequent in Kogi State, and His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kogi State, like you all know, frowns seriously at it and has promised that the perpetrators will be brought to book, as always. 2018, we only passed through this place to a boundary community in Basa local government. It wasn't as if something happened here in 2018. It happened in a boundary community in Baba. But you have to pass through here to get there. And His Excellency came down here by himself. And for four years or five years, from 2018 to now, it's five years, there has not been any of such incidents. And this does just happened. And as we speak, the military are fully on ground. From the very day that the incident happened, they even forestalled more casualty and more death. They've been on ground since then, and they will remain on ground. And just like the Commissioner of Police confirmed to you, more deployments by the mobile police and terror anti-terrorist uh, squad would also be on ground. He assured that the SEMA team had taken stock to ensure quick intervention in form of palliative to cushion the effect of the pains of, for the community. Well, it's unfortunate with the in the cover of the inspection of what the damage has been done at Ogunago, the deputy commission, the deputy governor was there. We have seen the extent of damage, but it's to find out what led, what brought about this uh, animosity that translated into damage of human lives and property. So the border, the the bottom line will be that to go into investigation and find out the critical. Uh, issues involved in this matter and what remedies can be done. I think the governor is very much unhappy about the incident and he has directed that we'll come down to the ground and do the investigation and find out whatever the cause is and get back to him. I think you can see the presence of the deputy governor himself and the sec uh, senior secretary advisor to the governor. So, the governor is concerned about um, anything that has to do with the security, safety and well-being of his people. And that's why um, he sent his number two, the deputy governor of the state, to visit the affected areas. Uh, what I saw in the eyes of the people today at that place uh, is confidence. Uh, as we are entering um, that troubled, uh, one of the troubled um, uh, communities, uh, we saw people tying their mattresses at the back of their motorcycle. But when they saw that the deputy governor was in town, they returned their mattresses home. That's what you do, when, that's what you get when you um, show concern and you identify with your people and that's what exactly uh, what the governor has done we hopefully with uh, the engagement at those communities hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates